How many of you have ever been hungry after school? We all have. It's been a long day at school, lunch was hours ago, and now it's time to eat. So what do we do? We ask our mom or dad, grandma or older sibling when dinner is, and we ask them for dinner. Now, how ridiculous would it be if when they served up your mac and cheese, we thought to ourselves, hmm, I don't trust that mom and dad are gonna make me dinner tomorrow. I better keep some of this in my pocket, just in case. No way, that'd be ridiculous. But guess what? That's what the Israelites did in our story. God told the Israelites that he would give them what they needed for each day. And that's what God did. God sent bread from heaven each morning. Isn't that crazy? Where on earth did that come from? Ugh. Where did... Anyway, the point is every single morning God sent bread for the Israelites and God sent quail from heaven in the evening. Huh, I would have thought I was gonna get hit in the head again, but I guess I'm okay. This is a chicken. Every day, God gave them enough for that day, but the Israelites didn't trust that God would continue to give them what they needed for each day. They kept some food and they stored it up for later, but that food spoiled. They should have trusted God for their daily bread. God gave them bread for Monday, for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Every single day, God gave them bread. Jesus taught this exact same thing. When Jesus was teaching his followers how to pray, he prayed saying, give us this day our daily bread. God gave the Israelites their daily bread. And they were in the wilderness for 40 years. And over the course of that time, there were things that they needed. They needed water, manna, and quail. And they could not get these things on their own. They had to trust that God would give those things to them every single day. So what does this mean for us? Well, you might be in a wilderness. That wilderness probably isn't a desert, but it might be a tough class at school. It might be that you're afraid. It might be sickness or that you feel lonely. Or maybe there's confusion at home. So here's the thing. In the middle of your wilderness, there are things that you need too. You might need peace or healing, to know that God is with you or many other things. You can trust that God will give you those things when you need them. Whether you're in the wilderness for 40 years, 40 days, or just 40 minutes, you can trust God every day. Sometimes we do what the Israelites did though. We often want God to give us direction for the next 10 years, but he's promised us to give us direction for today. We want God to give us peace for the rest of our tough situation, but he's promised to give us the peace that we need for today. God does not want you to worry about if you're gonna have the peace that you need, the friends that you need, or the healing that you need, but God does want you to trust in him that he will give you what you need for today. We're called to have a relationship with God where we trust him for our daily needs. Here's the last thing I want you to see. God gave us Jesus. God gave us his only son. He gave us Jesus as a sacrifice to pay the price for our sin. If God gave us Jesus, would he not also give us everything else that we need? Our God is good. He loves you and he cares about your needs. You can trust in him every single day to provide for what you need.